Hey guys, welcome to another Hostinger Academy video. My name is Kastudis and today we will be learning about all the different cPanel options you can choose with Hostinger. So without any further ado, let's hop right into it. Hostinger Shared Cloud and WordPress plans all use our amazing in-house HPanel, although that's definitely not the only option that we offer to help you manage your hosting plan. As an alternative, you can try to use one of the world's most popular control panels, which as you can guess from the title of the video, is cPanel. Both control panels have their own pros and cons, so if you're interested to see how they stack up one against each other, you can check out this link right here. Having that out of the way, let's continue exploring how you can get cPanel with Hostinger Hosting. There are two main options that you can choose between when going with cPanel on Hostinger. The first and the simplest one is going with a dedicated cPanel plan. Hostinger offers two tiers of cPanel plans, cPanel Silver and cPanel Gold. The main difference between these plans is that the Silver plan can only support up to one website at a time, while the Gold plan can have up to 50. For more technical specifications, make sure to visit our website or email us directly at support at hostinger.com. My colleagues will be more than happy to answer any and all of your questions. The second option is setting up cPanel on a virtual private server, also known as VPS, which you can also get from Hostinger. While our VPS plans do completely support cPanel and WHM, an important thing to note here is that you would need to purchase a separate license to use them. So if you can get the dedicated cPanel plan without any additional license fees, why even go for the VPS option? Great question, and a simple answer to that is that VPS gives more freedom to advanced users. With a VPS, you have full access to its command line, allowing you to do further customizations to your services if you have the necessary know-how. If cPanel is all you really need, then the dedicated plan is definitely the way to go. First, we begin by selecting the appropriate hosting plan. You will be able to find all of our cPanel plans under the hosting section, right here. Here, you will be presented with the two options, cPanel Hosting Silver and cPanel Hosting Gold. I will be using the silver package. Here you are able to choose your payment billing cycle. As you can see, the longer periods give you a more attractive price per month. So that's really worth considering, especially when Hostinger offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. Whatever billing cycle you choose, you can be confident that you aren't taking any risks here. Next step is creating your account. You can either use any one of these social login options on the right or simply enter your email address on the left. Finally, select your payment method and complete the purchase. Don't forget to use the coupon code HA10 to get a really nice discount. Once the purchase is completed, you will be able to see the plan in your Hostinger account's home section. Here you can also see that I can claim a free domain name. That is because currently, when purchasing a cPanel plan with a 12-month or longer billing cycle option, you do get this nice bonus, so keep that in mind. From here, you can begin the super simple setup process. The first choice you have to make here is whether you would like to use a domain name that you have already registered previously or register a completely new one. You can also use the domain name that you have claimed for free here as well, which is super handy. And the final option is choosing your server location. Currently for cPanel plans, Hostinger offers United States, United Kingdom and Singapore. I will be going with United Kingdom as that is closest to where I live. Now simply create your own password and you're good to go. A cPanel plan can be easily differentiated from a regular shared hosting plan by the cPanel icon next to your domain name. Clicking the Manage button will lead you to, surprise surprise, your cPanel management page. Here you are greeted by three main sections, each with their own specific function, and five subsections with additional details about your cPanel hosting plan. Before we jump right into cPanel, let's go over these five subsections as they are super useful and I can't wait to show you why. The first tab is a really nice introduction, as here you can find the links which you can use to log in to cPanel directly, your username and the option to change your password, as well as cPanel documentation. I highly recommend checking it out if you're new to cPanel, as it will answer a lot of questions that you might have. The second tab, titled DNS Details, will provide you additional information about your cPanel plan's DNS. Here you will be able to find the name servers which you should use to connect your domain to your cPanel. This is especially important if your domain name is registered outside of Hostinger. Next tab over is your file upload details. Here you will be able to find all the necessary information to connect to your account via FTP, 
To learn more about establishing an FTP connection, check out the video link in the info card. Further down the row is your SSH access tab. In short, SSH is just another more advanced way of interacting with your server directly via command line. And the final tab provides you with some email instructions. Accessing the emails hosted on your cPanel plan can be done in more than one way. For example, you can either use the webmail client, which you can access via these links here, or set up a mail client, such as Microsoft's Outlook or Mozilla Thunderbird using these details here. Now we can go to the cPanel itself. Opening it, you can see that it's just a regular instance of cPanel. One thing to note here is that with Hostinger, you also get access to Jet Backup on your cPanel plan, which is a super handy tool to manage your cPanel backups. And that covers using cPanel with Hostinger. If you'd like me to explore more cPanel features, leave your suggestions in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, leave a like. And of course, stay subscribed for more amazing videos like this one in the future. Until then, have an amazing day and best of luck in your online journey.